game programmer stream at Nate in um, DMIT. What we do is is um, teach students how to control assets and how to control universes and uh, game entities that that were were created by the the game designers. You know within within game engines. Game programming is breaking down video games, um, scripting them and basically taking care of all the functionality that happens behind the scenes in all the video games that you play. If your character is running from point A to point B, there's somebody writing code for that behind the scenes. If you have um, something that needs to blow up, well, that explosion has physics to it. That explosion has force to it. So they can, can program game characters to be able to fly or to have certain powers or to, to move in a certain way and, and react to physics in a certain way. In addition to everything I learned with C Sharp, uh, JavaScript, PHP, all the, the different programming languages, all the different uh, game engines that we had the opportunity to work with, we asked the students to to create their own IP, right, um, like intellectual property. So they are expected to to generate ideas, um, you know, generate backstories to a game, generate, you know, create the ideas for the world in, in which that, that game is, is taking place. It just gives you a well-rounded ability to, to function um, a little bit outside of the box. Students in Game programming and DMIT learn how to to work in a team from the from the very beginning. Teamwork is very important in the in, in the game programming stream. Primarily, the the game programmers are using material that the game designers gave them. Also, working with the programmers to be able to decide on the functionality of the games and what's going to happen in the games, and then working together making it happen more on a visual level, whereas the programmers would be working on a more uh, behind the scenes level. The game programming interfaces with with other career streams in several ways. Game programmers can also be um, information system programmers. So the other major stream that, that um, game programmers share skills with is the application programming stream. What I liked about the taking the courses I made is even though I was focusing on game programming, there was certainly an opportunity to take all sorts of other courses in addition to the game programming courses. Every game has a website, every game has interaction with the playing community out there. It uh, really gave me a more well-rounded view of, of programming tasks that I might not have had. When you're, when you're creating a game, you are, are creating a a visual environment that somebody is interfacing with and, and so and so we do have visual communication courses that are, are valuable to the game programmers as well. Even though I was focusing on game programming, there was certainly an opportunity to take all sorts of other courses. There was the flexibility to take web development as well, uh, to take database if you want to, to take audio design courses as well. There's there's flexibility there to, to really tailor your experience within the program.